Hello, I'm Mike Stitzline, and today I'll be discussing lamb selection. Selecting the right animal is one of the most important aspects of your project. Many factors go into this decision, but it's important to keep in mind when your fair or shows are so you can select the proper age and size of lamb. Evaluation for breeding and market is very similar. However, points of emphasis such as muscling or power, balance and structure may change slightly depending on which you are selecting. When looking at a lamb and trying to decide what size they will finish out, it's always good to talk to the producer and provide them with your show dates. Producers will often guide you towards the most appropriate sized lambs and they can help to provide an educated guess of how the lamb will finish. A good indicator of growth on a lamb is the length of the cannon bone. The cannon bone is the bone between the knee and the hoof in the front and the hock and the hoof in the rear. The longer it is, the larger the animal will most likely be, and conversely, the shorter the bones are, the smaller the lamb will be. In general, selection often starts at the ground. Evaluate animals in motion if possible. This allows you to see all aspects of the lambs and if they are one, structurally sound, and two, how balanced they are. It's often easier to pick out an animal's faults when they are moving rather than standing still. When walking, an animal should stay square and fill their tracks, meaning where the front foot left the ground, the back foot should land. You want an animal to be wide-based, however, not so wide, it moves outside of the width of its skeleton. When I say square, I mean the animal's joints move squarely within its body, so its hocks and knees are not bowing out. For market animals, muscle is most important. Once your project is complete, these animals will be entering the food chain. Muscle ultimately equals product. Once you have seen the animal in motion, handle them. You should always handle their rack shape, length and depth of loin, and their leg. Handling allows you to physically feel the amount of muscle and fat an animal is carrying at any given time. In most young lambs, fat is not a huge concern. However, as lambs age, handling over their ribs and the amount of flank fat is key to ensure lambs do not become too fat or over-conditioned. I know I mentioned balance earlier but it's really the third component of selecting an animal. Generally, if your animal is balanced, all of its parts fit together. The basics are to have a clean front and have the shoulders lay in smooth. Its body should be uniform in depth, meaning the top line of the animal is basically parallel with the underline and your animal is level made. Balance is the most subjective criteria when selecting your project. There are many other factors that can be associated with balance. And as you expand your selection knowledge, these items will become second nature to you. Remember, these are only the basics of selection. It's always good to talk with producers and other industry professionals to gain knowledge. Attend different shows and events to see what the industry is selecting and how other producers are doing things. Sometimes these are the most educational and even fun conversations. Thank you for listening. In the next segment, Alan Johnson will cover feeding and nutrition. Hello, I'm Alan Johnson, and today I'm going to discuss basic nutrition now that you have selected your lamb. The first thing to do prior to bringing your animal home is find out some information about what your lamb is currently eating. Be sure to discuss with the producer that you purchased the animal from what type of feed and feeding system your lamb is currently on and the amount they are currently eating. This information is important when transitioning your lamb to new feed. This transition should occur over a three to five day period to minimize any potential problems. When selecting a nutrition plan for your animal, you should keep in mind the essential nutrients an animal will need. Those essential nutrients include water, protein, carbohydrates or fats, minerals and vitamins. Each nutrient plays a critical role in the growth and development of your animal. Complete bag feeds are available that provide essential nutrients in appropriate quantities based on your lamb's stage of development. When deciding what to feed and the amount, keep in mind that sheep's average daily gain is generally a half a pound per day. However, under the right circumstances, they can gain upwards of a pound. I never recommend feeding to a set weight. The animal's overall frame, length, and structural characteristics will determine the ideal weight. Generally speaking, in today's show ring, 130 to 150 pounds is acceptable. 
Feeding your lamb four pounds a day, two pounds morning and night, is a good rule of thumb to keep your lamb growing. The amount might change due to your animal's size and the amount of time prior to the fair. This information should be taken into account when planning adjustments in your lamb's feed to reach your weight goal. You should also provide your animal with clean water in abundance every day to help regulate body temperature, prevent health issues, and is directly related to feed intake. Hay should also be fed to your animal. Sheep are a ruminant animal and need forage to keep their gut working properly. Provide a generous fistful twice a day is plenty to maintain gut health. Thank you for watching the basic nutrition portion of this video and good luck with your project.